If training is important in your business, then I think you're really going to like the phrase, beautiful is hard. Hi, I'm Ken Okel. I'm a motivational keynote speaker, and I also write books. The latest one is called Get Better, Smart Business Advice from Unexpected Mentors. In this series, I break down each chapter, tell you a little bit about it, kind of give you some of the behind the scenes. So this week, the chapter is called Beautiful is Hard hard. This phrase came from when I was working as executive director of a professional ballet company, and I was sitting in a dance class for what are called trainees in a dance company. These are dancers who are maybe 17 through early 20s. They're very promising, but they're not quite at the level of a professional dancer. So they work as a trainee in a company where they receive additional instruction. And in a big production, they might play some of the background role. So it's kind of a win-win for everyone. Anyway, I'm watching these dancers receive instruction. And it's all very precise. You have to do certain movements in a certain way. It's not freelance. It's not jazz. You have to be very disciplined. You have to be controlled. And often, kind of what I think, The right move often is the one that's the most uncomfortable at first. You don't feel like doing it. The instructor would offer corrections to the dancers, you know, move them around a little bit, say, no, raise your your back a little more here or turn more like this. As I mentioned, really precise. And at a certain point, she said to the group, hey, beautiful is hard. And that phrase really stuck with me because sometimes Doing things the right way involves some extra steps, takes a little more time, but there's a reason why you do it. For these dancers, it was about giving them that opportunity to improve their craft. The better all those individual moves would be, the better a dancer they would become. In your world, there may be policies, procedures, customer service things. You have a specified way to do things. If people are just kind of freelancing, it doesn't work as well. Yeah, beautiful is hard. It's hard to get things right all the time, but it is so important to do so. Because often I have found that people will do shortcuts if they don't believe there is a stated way to perform certain functions. They'll be like, oh, I I really don't need to do that. I'll just do it this way. Shortcut, which may undermine your process. You want to avoid that as much as possible. Remember that phrase, beautiful is hard. It takes hard work to sometimes follow the instructions to do things the right way, but ultimately it will pay off. For more about me and my book, go to my website, kenokel.com, just like my name. And if you'd like to pick up your copy right now, head over to amazon.com. Very easy to buy from there, I've heard. Next time, what are we going to be talking about? The chapter called Don't Open the oven, which is kind of about micromanagement. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and get better.